C3PO. C3PO longs for more peaceful times, but his continued service to the Resistance keeps him on the front lines of the galactic conflict. Babu Freak. A tiny, well regarded droid smith. Babu Freak can modify virtually any droid, regardless of their security measure protecting their systems. Hello, and welcome to Centurion's Corner, and today we are reviewing C3PO and Baba Freak from the new Rise of Skywalker. Well, I say new, it's about seven months old now, isn't it? But um, yeah, I've had this guy probably since he actually released, I uh, just not really got around to doing all my collections and stuff like that. But um, yeah, I was kind of sort of put off because I didn't want to get a C3PO, and now I've got a C3PO, which my ultimate one is the one from Emperor Strikes Back uh, with Chewbacca, the Amazon exclusive. I have got C3PO um, from the 40th anniversary, and again, I've got another C3PO. So, um, yeah, but I thought I'd get this guy, he looks pretty cool. I kind of wanted Babu Freak and, um, and just see what this guy was all about. So, here he is. We've got C3PO down here. Um, kind of looks like he's got um, Ray's staff there more than he's actually got anything else. And we've got Babu Freak down here as well. And um, on the side, he was an exclusive. On this side, we've got C3PO and Baba Freak. And in this part here, we've got C3PO and we've got the bio on the back for both characters. And we've got that kind of pencil drawing that's really hidden behind all that writing. So, without further ado, let's just crack this bad boy open. Right, so here he is in his blister pack. We've got his bow caster, well, Chewbacca's bow caster and his uh, bandolier. Tiny, tiny little babu freak at the top there. And um, C3PO. So, yeah, not much hidden away. Um, again, it got that two part bow caster, which really annoys me because that bit at the bottom just always falls off. But um, we could just pull him out and have a quick scan of this C3 coat, see what it's all about. And um, yeah, he looks all right. He's got that kind of articulation that um, Fallen has got. So it looks pretty nice. And we've got those kind of gun holding hands as well. So it's just a standard C3 coat. But I'm kind of liking the gold. It pops really nice. And that silver trim down there really pops off as well. So I'll take away, take some photos, and we'll see you in a moment. just gonna jump in here really quickly uh, the review is just coming up but um, I didn't know about his red eyes sometimes they were red and sometimes they wasn't but actually it's to temperature so you need to chuck him in the freezer for at least 30 seconds and his eyes turn red so um, that's basically it I mean there's no sort of instructions or anything like that in the box for this it's just kind of um, I just saw it on the net so yeah, brilliant as well. Anyway, guys and girls, on with the review. Hello, so welcome back. Been away, taking some photos. And I must admit, I really enjoy this uh, C3PO. He's, he's not too bad. I mean, his sculpt looks great. Um, and obviously, his articulation looks not too bad. And um, yeah, I mean, would I sort of say about getting going out, getting out of your way to get this C3PO? Well, probably not really, if you already got a C3PO. Um, but it does come with Baba Freak, uh, which is probably the main reason really to get him for this little dude down here. But it comes with three accessories. I mean, we can class him as a, an, a, a figure if we liked. But it comes with a Chewbacca's bowcaster. And actually, it's quite a nice looking bowcaster. We've got this all like the um, weathering effects on there, the silver and stuff, all on the end of the ball things and all that. But what I really liked about this bowcaster as well is that this connector, connection part at the end here is a lot longer and it fits into this really nice so it doesn't fall off so my um, 40th anniversary Chewbacca one it's always falling off so um, he will get an upgrade with this one and also this part always keeps falling off as well and it's actually secured in so yeah it's actually pretty good he does hold it um, kind of pretty well i mean to be honest his arms are like fallen now where we got these trigger hands and um 
get him in there. So he's got the elbow joints as well. So you can actually get a nice sort of like two-handed blaster with, well, blaster pose, shall we say, with C-3PO, even though he doesn't really sort of use it in the actual uh, film. And the other thing he comes with as well is Chewbacca's kind of bandolier bag or handbag. Um, slightly different. We've got these kind of like raised little notches on the end rather than just all the silver things. So it's, it's quite detailed. But to me, it does look a bit dog chewed. I don't know. It is, it's not, but to me, it just always looks a little bit rough um, around the edges. And it's kind of like a standard size. It does fit a Chewbacca figure. And what I've noticed as well is um, this is the uh, Chewbacca from the Solo, which obviously he comes with this kind of bandolier. But if you wanted to change him up, and actually I thought he's more sort of shaggy, chic look, kind of actually looks like the Last Jedi kind of. Um, look for uh, Chewbacca so we can just tuck that underneath there get it in there and then we kind of got a I can't really see this too tall kind of like a Force Awakens Chewy apart from them we got this kind of molded part here for the other thing but um yeah doesn't look too bad but yeah it just fits down in the right places or we put them to one side and then the other thing comes with is Baba Freak which we'll take a look at him first and call him an accessory because we can go over him quite quickly. So, his detail, we've got all the parts on there. And uh, his belt, his silver little cuff links there. And then we've got this kind of sort of movable up and down sort of welder's mask. He's got his arms on the ball joint, so they can go around like a lot of rotation. But again, they pop out a bit like Baby Yoda. They do come out quite easily. But, you know, they just pop back in. His legs don't move, unfortunately. So this is all you're going to get for him. But, I mean, Christ, he's tiny. And then, really, it's the, down to the main guy himself. So um, we can look at his articulation and go through that. So his head can swivel left and right. Um, he can sort of look down slightly and look up. Just a very small kind of nod and movement there. We've got a rotation up here. We got a kind of rotation just at the wrist part, but uh, bicep here, and we have got a slight bit of movement as well inside that kind of sort of shoulder. His arms obviously they're on a hinge. His hands can rotate, and it's on a peg. This one's quite loose; it does pop out quite a bit when I'm trying to um, pose him quite a bit. His waist does do a rotation, and he's got a little bit of ab crunch there and back, much as what you need really for a C-3PO figure. His legs can only come out about this far. And then we've got a rotation up the upper thighs. We've got a single jointed knee. And then we've got the rocker and the pivot and a rotation as well at the ankle. Um, so in all, you know, it's just a C-3PO figure. Nothing over the top and nothing completely drastically different. There's a few subtle little differences that I have here compared to my... Emperor Strikes Back C-3PO. Well, this is what I call my ultimate C-3PO. I love this C-3PO. Um, but if you notice, the gold's slightly a little bit different. Here it's all painted gold, and on this one it is silver. And I have referenced the pictures on this as this should be silver as well. So I will update that arm joint there just to make it, because I think it really makes it really makes it pop up on there. Um, but that's kind of it. Oh, and he's, I find this one here, down here, this looks really messy and sloppy compared to that. But maybe it has changed over the years for C-3PO. I've not looked at reference pictures for this one to see how his uh, bits kind of sort of look. Um, but that's kind of it, really. I mean, the only thing we got different on here is that he has got red eyes. Um, they look slightly different, but um, not too bad. But on the back as well, you can see it's slightly a different bit of gold. And this can pop out. So we can actually get... Baba Freak to work on the back of his head, which is pretty cool. So um, I do like that. And actually, I have um, taken this head off and put it on this one. So where this one comes apart, it's like an extra piece to make him come apart as well. So it does work. But obviously, this one has the red eyes and this one doesn't. So, um, yeah, fortunately. And I think it's down to the light and stuff like these eyes change because sometimes I look at it and they look really red and other times they just look on the normal so um, 
that's kind of it. But yeah, Sculpt, that's the only bit different on there. Um, it's just a standard C3PO and down. And the gold's quite nice. We haven't got the silver leg on this one. And the toes. And then we've got the uh, back of the legs and the joint, back plate, the arms and the silver parts are in the right areas. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. And um, so I've actually got a few C3POs now. I've got uh, kind of like Ember Strikes, oh, not Ember Strikes Back, sorry, um, A New Hope uh, 40th Anniversary, which kind of, to me, kind of looks a bit like a cheap knockoff kind of C3PO. We got the Ember Strikes Back one, which I use mainly in my pictures. Yeah, he has got a bit of dirt on there, but I kind of like my C3 photo to have a bit of dirt rather than always looking pure gold. Um, so, yeah, I don't really need all these C3 POs on my, my shelf, really. It's they're kind of just, it's a bit of a, I do like C3 PO, but it's, it's not like having loads of Luke Skywalker's in different outfits. It's just C3 PO in different kind of mud looking, I suppose. So, my thing is, is I'm going to change this guy. Uh, so down the down the road a little bit later on, you might see C3PX. So I'm going to have a little bit of a customization on this guy and just see how he turns out and to put another one on my bounty hunter shelf. So it's another custom coming this way. So yeah, I mean Star Action Toys, before Christmas I got this guy, about 18.95. He's still roughly out there, um, and unfortunately he still retails on that price. It doesn't really sort of drop down. But um, if you haven't got a C3PO, I highly recommend him. If you've got a C3PO, then try and get this guy for a bit cheaper just to get the Baba Freak. But um, yeah, because he's really not really missing out much. So guys, girls, thank you so much for joining me on this video. You can comment, you can subscribe, and you can follow me on Instagram, which is in the description down below. And I'll see you next time. Bye.